Hey guys, Jessica here. Are y'all excited for this week's craft video? We are going to make a custom doormat. Very much like this one. Ta-da! I'm going to go over this week all the different supplies and where I got them and the cost. So it's going to be a little bit different. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, what you'll need is a doormat. I got mine from Ikea for $8.99 and it's called Trampa. The flat white spray paint. This is a Cryline brand. You can find it at Home Depot, Lowe's, anywhere. It's about $3 or $5. dollars have some blue painter's tape. I got this at Home Depot. You can also get it at any other home improvement store. It costs about $5. And you need a circular object. I used a plate and a Sharpie that will show up on the mat. I ended up using a pink color instead of that silver. Now we finish taping up our design and covering the spots that we don't want to paint. Make sure that you press pretty firmly on the edges of the tape to make sure that they stick to the mat and that the paint won't seep underneath it. Alright, now we are going to start spray painting the mat. I didn't get any footage of this part since it was nighttime when I did it and the lighting was pretty bad. But I'm going to give a few tips for those that are not familiar with spray painting. So go ahead and pick your color. I picked flat white. And before you start spray painting, you shake it up until you hear it rattle. You do that for about a minute or two, make sure it's real mixed up. And when you go to spray paint, 
you hold the can at a 90 degree angle over the map. And then when you press on the nozzle pretty gently and do short strokes over the entire mat. I would not recommend holding it at, like, at an angle, kind of like this and doing it. You're gonna get some paint underneath that blue tape because it's not sticking that great to the mat and you don't want paint seeping underneath it and ruining your design. Another tip is to do several light coats. I did about three light coats of the white and let each coat dry about 15 minutes so it won't get built up and all gloopy and everything. And that's about all the tips. Let's go see how it looks. Ta-da! And this is how it looks when it's finished spray painting. It cost me about $18 total with all the supplies and everything. And it looks pretty awesome and you got your custom doormat. Congrats! And here's how the doormat looks in front of my front door. Looks pretty awesome. Thanks so much for watching! If you like this video or any other ones you've watched, don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. And if you want to stay connected with my other social media sites, check those out too. Thanks for watching!